Put down. Be sanctified. Goba, get them! A bitter pill to swallow. Bow your head. Side effects. Huh. Nice and spicy. Let the mighty be humble. Silence. Okay, hello, hello guys. As you see in my new blade, new blade is literally a broken character. The vaporize damage is literally insane. The team you're looking here, you, you must be wondering what Nahida is doing in my team. See the third, the fourth spot is literally empty. Uh, like I'm, I was very confused which character to put in the you know fourth spot. The first is the pyro character from uh, sh uh, options like Thoman Shangling, so Shangling would be the perfect. Then I need a character who buffs the damages of new blade uh, related to elemental or anything else. Uh, the three characters came into my mind. Uh, first is Bennett, second is Kazu, and third is Mona. So I tried Mona and I tried Bennett and I tried Kazua. The best outcomes comes with the Kazua. Kazu is just good because Kazu also triggered the swirl which is needed when you are with new blade. You need to trigger at least two minimum reaction. Uh, three minimum reaction if you don't have C1. Uh, but if you have C1 constellation, you need to trigger two elemental reaction at least. So and Kazuo gives a um, plenty amount of uh, elemental damage, one of which is good. And Nahida is here just to give the extra elemental mastery in her elemental burst. So Nahida is just here to provide the elemental mastery, or maybe a Rendro application. You can use other characters here, like you can try using Mona here in the place of Nahida. I don't know what how that will go but we'll try in this video don't worry and we'll show you the teams that you can use or many teams that you can use the point is the new bullet as the dps is very strong so it doesn't matter which team you use with new bullet there's gonna be only a minor difference not major difference between the teams if you use the right character your new bullet will provide a massive amount of damage c1 doesn't provide any extra damage so having a c1 constellation does not mean that your new bullet definitely gonna deal more damage but C1 uh, having a C1 constellation makes things easier when you use new bullet or build your new bullet. Uh, let me show you my build, what weapon and what artifact I am using on my new bullet. Weapon I am using the signature weapon Tom of the Eternal Flow. It's the best weapon, of course, for new bullet. It's having massive amount of 88 percent crit damage and the uh, abilities just matches with the kit of new bullet, giving HP percentages, giving bonus damages, charge attack damage bonus when your HP is decreasing or increasing. You can stack this damage, of course. And for now, I'm having this artifact set. I know this is not the idle artifact that you that you should use with your new bullet. I have talked about the artifacts before uh, and many times in different videos. In my opinion, the best artifact set is going to be the Nymph. Nymph Dream is going to be the best artifact set, but I don't have a, uh, enough artifact to give him a proper four piece. Constellation, I'm having C1 and, and my talents are on 978 and Constellation C1, talents are on 978. Even not max, my uh, new is not a max and artifacts is this, uh, the weapon I already showed you, artifacts also and the final is the 61, 250, 
is the ratio 61 credited to 50 is the ratio little no energy recharge uh, so having minimum 60 percent credit is needed with new blood but you have around 70 then it's gonna be amazing but uh, for now i have only managed to get a 60 percent credit my new blood is not currently on max as you've seen the talents are still on nine normal attack and uh, other tools are seven and eight and still my new blood is having a blast on the field like giving 80k 85k and 90k vaporize damage uh, it's just insane i haven't tried the hyper bloom damage but uh, when i did in the past like when my new blood is around 70 level the hyper bloom damage is low or bloom damage is low as compared to the you know vaporize damage i think the highest uh, damage he does he does with the vaporize and it's just amazing if you have a very good build of thoma and changling you should use your thoma and changling with new blood i don't have that good build with my changling uh, this is actually not my main account so in this account i'm already having this ratio on my shangling not that decorate energy charge is also low and the artifact is not that good also but i'm having the uh, uh, you know talents are also not on max but i think uh shangling and thoma will work with your new light it's gonna be very good so let's just show you the more gameplays with the different teams and different characters and just enjoy the gameplay new light is so broken and he's so good Taking a turn for the better. Be sanctified. Settle down. Let me just Monster briefly tell you how you can how you play with new light and how you can get the max damage. Uh, two things keep well, in mind that new blade work That's on the enduring. charge That's attack silent. so when you deploy your elemental skill you can do charge attack very fast and also when you can when you deploy your elemental bus you can do fast attack instantly like instantly you can do charge attack uh, uh, by collecting those uh, balls also uh, that the new let elemental bus drops if you quickly go into the talents and read about the element el elemental skill and elemental bus summons a raging waterfall that will deals a way higher damage to an opponent in front of a new let based on his max hp after hitting an opponent this skill will regenerate three source of water droplets near that op opponent so you need to collect that droplets in order to instantly deal instantly deal the charge attack uh, this is the duration of the elemental skill that uh, you know droplets uh, after 15 seconds the droplet will just uh, literally disappear and this is the damage damage is pretty high if you think that elemental skill having the less damage it's pretty high if you go into the elemental bus it's the same uh, unleash the wave that will deal aoe hydro damage based on the new blood max hp after a short interval two world will, uh, will descend and deal hydro damage in a smaller area and will generate three solar resources within the area in front of if you collect these droplets uh, you will also get healed and uh, you can instantly do a charge attack uh, for now if you do a charge attack you can, you can see it's taking a lot of lots of time to do a charge attack but on, in that way by collecting the droplets you can instantly do the charge attacks just keep spamming the alt and elemental scale and do the charge attack give all the buff needed to new bullet especially give pyro to the new blade that apply pyro using thoma or shangling is from either of these two character and apply pyro to the opponent give buff using the kazua mona venti or any character that gives new blade a proper buff protect new blade because new blade hp drowns new blade also heals himself but hp will drown this is a fast paced team that you will quickly switch to the characters so a proper healer or shielder will be needed i don't uh, recommend a shielder but a healer will be recommended i use bezu because bezu is the best boy he protect you he heals you and he, he's the best also remember if you don't have any constellation your new blade is c zero you need to trigger at least three minimum elemental reaction the hydro reactions with your new blade in order to get maximum charge attack bonus which you can get uh, around 160 percent you can get 160 percent charge attack damage bonus if you trigger all three 
three elemental reaction, the hydro elemental reaction. 